Yo, welcome back guys. Um, day three, it's gonna be our longest day, well so far definitely, but maybe the whole week because what we try and do is different circuits per day. So downstairs sockets day one, upstairs sockets day two, downstairs lights day three, upstairs lights day four, with a bit of a kitchen chucked in that and then on top of it a fuse wall change. But we spent day one and day two literally doing downstairs sockets and kitchen. So day three for us now, it's gonna be upstairs sockets and downstairs lights as best as possible. So while we're taking floors up, we're running everything as best we can. There's down lights going in every room, dining room, kitchen, lounge, hallway, and then upstairs as well. But we'll run through that. So uh, come on a journey with us. A long journey. A long one. Uh, so first things first for me, Boards here, we don't have access anywhere to get upstairs through the wall, through the cavity. The old ones are here and they're clipped up to the top. A few of the other ones are actually pushed into the porch and clipped directly on the surface. We're gonna bury them. We're gonna use the, uh, the regs of 150 mil from a corner, chase up, we'll be bringing power to the loft on its own. We've got upstairs sockets, we've got downstairs lights, we've got upstairs sockets. So there's our four circuits. Uh, up here into the little bedroom, Adam and I and the customer have moved, or will be moving all the stuff from the little room across, taking the floor up, taking the landing up, finishing off this room as best we can, and moving it all back, like we say, it's just a game of backwards and forwards with stuff. So uh, we're running upstairs, see what, what's what. Right, so the little room, in the bottom right hand corner of this room is where the board is. We're gonna be chasing up here, so it's, this is the box room, but there is three double sockets. So we've got one either side here, and one behind the chest drawers in front of me. We'll be taking the half the floor up, getting done what here, rodding across, peeling it back, peeling the other side up. Sorry, Adam, it's time to use a drill when I'm filming, as usual. He just wants to crack on, fair play. Take the landing up and work in sections, and that's the best we can do. So we'll get this cleared, get the floor up, see what we're playing with. Top tip, guys. When you're taking boards up, you can see I've knocked them through. Any nails, doesn't matter if you're gonna put the board down in five minutes or in two hours, take the nails out because I've knelt on stuff before, I've stood on stuff before with trainers, there's no getting away from a big rusty nail, and then you've got a tetanus shot in your ass cheek as well, which I've had, which also hurts, so. Hang on, I've in my arm. Well, this is what I said, and I said this to my other half, when I went to A&E, well, sort of A&E about it, it's actually with a dog bite, but I'd done this previous, and she said, you need a tetanus. I said, I had one, she went, no, you need another one. I was like, ah, oh, then. And she said, I had to do it in my ass cheek. So, but I don't know, and I've spoken to a few people, they were like, nah, that's not right. I was like, well, that's where I had it, and then it hurt to sit down for three days. I just wanted to see your ass. <sighs> well, I don't know, I was a lot better looking back then, maybe. Uh, so the boards are coming up. I've chiseled up in the corner here from downstairs, but unfortunately there's a beam right next to it. We have got a gap instead of the beam being against the wall, but I've got to get four cables up this gap, find it first. We'll drill at an angle, probably 32 mil spade bit, on an angle down, so we've got the angle we can sort of feed up and get a fish down. Uh, all these socket boxes like downstairs are being reused. We've got no pull. We found spare cable clips in the floor, which Adam's found down here, there's quite a few, which looks like to us that someone was just clipped the brick, uh, cable to the wall. There's no conduits, no cappings, we can't pull stuff through. Uh, there's old cables, there's a new cable, there's a new socket been attached over here. Adam's gonna get a multi tool, an old blade, uh, if it's no good on the plaster, what I'll do is get the angle grinder out, make some big teeth on it so it can chop away the plaster, get it as nice and neat as we can because these are decorated rooms. We only want to do the minimal that we have to damage. So it might take a bit longer, but the results will be a bit better at the end. And uh, I'll faff a bit more with that and then we'll show through the hole and hopefully try and get it at the right angle. So after Adam going down and poking the drill bit up, I was in the wrong place. I forgot there's a porch over this bit, so 10, 15 minutes wasted, no, never mind. So we moved it across a bit. This should be in the right place. Um, this actually has had a light and rewire past 2018. Yeah. Before the customers bought the house. And this is the stuff we just found, still attached to the circuit. So it just shows what's hiding under the floor. 
but we're gonna remeasure it, drill it, put the drill bit up, and that should be a bit better because this corner bit where the plaster had been taken off in the past, it literally filled the void up so I couldn't get my, my fingers in there or anything. So, uh, round two, try again. Adam, I've uh, just had an idea. That worked well. Uh, so what we're gonna do, socket-wise, is our run's coming up here. This is upside down, just go with it. Everyone that does this will know what it's like. We're not gonna do it to our first point, we're gonna do methodically, don't know why I did air quotes. From here, we're gonna go across to this one, we're gonna return it back to the nearest one, near the outlet, because normally you would see, it's in there, you go here. Up here, return back, go in here, then we're gonna get the lighting done below, which is in the two-way switching for the landing, and you've got this light. We're going to put some uh, down lights in the hallway downstairs. Put this room back together, bring all the stuff back in, move to the master. We've got two sockets either side of the bed, one behind Kip. Put that room back together, but then we're going to do the lights because there's four down lights to go in the, in the lounge and then two to go in the bay area on a two-way dimmer. So we have to move a bit of stuff around, put that back together, come to the hallway, do that, pull that back together, go to the bedroom. So, gonna sort of complete this first. So we're gonna do a bit of sockets, then we're gonna do a bit of down lights. And then a bit of... Uh, that Don't put that in. <laughs> do you think you should do like more bits in the video where you sort of take a second, second and go, if you're enjoying this, give it a like? I can do. So guys, if you're enjoying this video, hit the like button. Smash the subscribe button, that's what they say. That's what the proper YouTubers say, isn't it? Whack your bell. The notification bell. Hit the notification bell to get notifications when a video is uploaded so you never miss a video. There you go. Sound like I'm watching the YouTubers, doesn't it? What I am doing now is Adam's finishing off the sockets in that room. Like I said earlier, we want to get the downstairs lights done. So we're going to do a dog leg here, doing four down lights. There'll be two here and another two down here. These three want to be in line, and then the dog leg obviously needs to be in line with the, um, the door. But I had a nosebleed then. Measuring off here, because in the center of the, the, the joist here, you can see a joist, sorry, in the center of the hallway, landing, how I got there in the end, you can see a beam. I want to see where that is measurement wise compared to downstairs, whether or not I need to offset the lights that are going in a line, or they can sit in the center. Ideally, we want to sit them in the center for visual reasons but we can only do what we've got. So I'm gonna get the measurement there. It's lath and plaster here. I'm gonna cut four holes out once we've got some measurements. We can do the loops over, find the light switches, pull them back up, because this is places had a light and rewire. Every single light switch drop has had a new cable in it, which we'll have a look at in a minute, but we're gonna change a few of the patrices in the wall because a few of them have been chewed up to hell. We're having dimmers, so we're gonna need some deeper back boxes. So, but there is steel conduit in the wall, so the people before us did pull it through themselves, so we shouldn't really have a problem, so, fingers crossed. So the beam is actually pretty much smack bang centre of the hallway, which means we can't do a straight run of down lights. So I spoke to the customer, what we've done here before and everywhere in different jobs where we can't allow it. If you want a straight line, it means that the down lights are going to be off centre to the entire hallway, the door frame, so visually when you walk in the front door, it's not going to look good. So what we'll end up doing with a row of three, the fourth one is on the angle, so it doesn't really count. We will do two, the same distance on the left-hand side of the beam, furthest apart. And then the middle one, we will kick on the other side of the beam in the center of all the different lights. So visually, you can see it sits on a triangle. It's in line. It's everything it needs to be. And it's the only real way around having a beam straight back, smack bang in the center. Other than that, you could put two down lights here and two down lights there. Equally visually, it won't look very nice. It'd be too bright in certain spots. This is all from experience, just this is the way it has to be. Unfortunately, when you've got stuff like this. All right, so I drill some holes. Yeah. Excuse me.
So instead of all the expensive tools and equipment that we own, Adam has decided to put some oval conduit through the floor instead of some super rods. <laughs> uh, we've got the cable runner out, but we're triple stacking it because we've got two uh, one mils, a two five to go over to the landing. So we've got them on, I'm going to feed it and Adam's going to pull. Go on then, mate. So the two one mils uh, are upstairs lighting and then also loft lighting because it's going to be on a separate circuit because at some point they could potentially extend upwards. So right now we're going to put more circuits in than we need and also we're running a 2.5 upstairs as well for a double socket in the loft but that then can, can be converted as well to its own socket circuit with a couple of stuff for a bedroom maybe that's going upstairs so trying to future proof as much as we can. Do you want a bit more on the 2.5? That should be plenty because it's yeah, near the hatch. Put a bit one more on the one mil because you've got to clip it on a beam. Clip around the beam. They are the spotlights going there as well up here. Oh, so it's going to always do a junction box or something. Like yeah. So do you mean a maintenance free joint? Yeah. Yeah. That'll do this. That'll yeah. do donkey. That'll do. We've just pulled off enough cable to go upstairs into the loft. These are our feeds. So we've got two one mils and a two five. So the two fives for the loft extension, and the one one mil, one one mil. That's weird. Is for the loft extension also, which is for the lights. And then the other one mil is for upstairs lights and like bathroom lights and stuff like that so yeah i'm just labeling what, what's what and then i'm gonna go that end and cut off the drum and leave enough to poke it down to the fuse board to me what's that add push it more oh it's just where the floorboard's lower just give it a wiggle and give it a good push i'm trying try and angle it down i don't have little girl hands like you i can't get... oh yeah wait there you're gonna poke my eye out in a minute right that's what your mom said <laughs> Let's oh. make look Kip's life harder now. I have to do 100 jump cuts like Jordan's videos. Uh, 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 and yeah, that yeah. tree. Uh. I know it's like Jordan, don't worry. I've got it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. How would you say your day's going? Hot, non stop, achy knees, sweaty. Customers giving me the crying face in the background. Um, it's going good, it just, it's a long process. It's me like I said previous video. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's done. That's that's the way it goes. So we've nearly run enough stuff so we can get the little bedroom back together now. But it's an it, it, I like rewires. Um, it's just a long process, isn't it? it? Takes a while to get somewhere because it's just smashing things around, pulling things up, moving stuff constantly, pulling cables, clipping cables under floors, making it as neat as possible, hoover under floors. Premium product. I should be arty. Zane? Artisanal. Artisanal. Art. Art. Artisan bakery. Oh, is that his artisan bakery? He's everywhere. He's there, I can't get, get rid of him. Uh, then I go and watch his videos and I'm sat in bed. What are you doing to myself? Right, so we've put all the little bedroom back together, moved some of the stuff from here, but this is what we, this is the thing with the occupied rewire. We've got a massive bed in the way, big wardrobes, which we don't really want to move. We've turned the bed around, pushed it out. So we've got uh, a run here. Downstairs, there's four spotlights going in the main room. And then there's two in the bay, which is here. The jury should run this way. So Adam's gonna cut as and when we need to on the beams, on the, sorry, on the floorboards, get the ones up by the sockets. We will take a long length up here. And for the spotlights, we'll be able to run down the joist so we won't have to take the entire floor up. If my measurements are right, hopefully they are. When we cut the holes in the ceiling, we should be able to rod straight to it and allow most of the floor to stay intact. Hopefully. <laughs> but I need to find the light switch. There is metal conduit there, so I should be able to pull it back down. And then the dimmer, there's gonna be dual dimmers, a dimmer for the four lights and then a dimmer for the bay lights as well. I think what I might be doing is, the wardrobe comes out 600. There's a joist directly in front of the wardrobe. So if we go to the joist over, I think 800, which will land us about here. We do 800 square. So if we do 800 squares in each corner. It'll light, nice light the room towards the edges, bit of glow down on the walls rather than the central light. And then we can move over to the bay. But obviously we keep moving our stuff around each other room. So all the stuff's in here again. But with the Dade, all the carpet's being changed. We haven't got to worry too much. A lot of the stuff's being removed and, and chucked in the bin. So I'll get these four cut, but I'm obviously gonna go and triple check measurements for joists. And once we've got them cut, we can just chuck rods that way to each hole and Adam will be able to find it upstairs. Rod success. That's what she said.
Adam's getting on with the sockets upstairs. I'm doing a bit of rodding, a bit of rodding work. But I'm on my Todd. So that's going to be last on the circuit, which is the one over here. We're going to link it up. It's going to go to this one, back up across to that one, across to the first one. Just behind Kip hanging out the ceiling is the downlight feed in. So what we're doing is a maintenance free joint above the very first light in each room. Um, we'll also write that on the certificate as well in case anyone ever wants to find it. It should be quite easy. Uh, yeah, and then from this, I've done the two holes in the bay. They'll be just linked together. And what we're going to be doing, we're dropping a three core down for the light switch drop, which will allow me to use my brown as my common. Then I use my gray will be my L1 for the lights in the, the, the main room. And then my black will be my L1 and you'll have a link through from your common to each side of the dimmer switch for common to common, which will then power the switch cable for the bay lights. It just allows me to drop one cable down in the switch with limited amount of room uh, instead, of two, two, five, instead of two one mils uh, for two switch wires. I hope that made sense. Health and safety kids. It's right, the locks are on the wheel so it won't move. Unfortunately, this is real world situations. I could have moved the steps, but I am a bit crowded. Also, massive shout out to Expert Electrical for supplying the stuff. Uh, use 10% on all the stuff. Cable, capping, socket fronts, patrices, fuse box stuff, which is right next to Kip here. Everything in that box from Expert. So thank you very much. I'll put all the links below. Go and check it out. Get yourself 10% off, save yourself some money, and then you'll have some more spare money to buy some Flexi Conduit. You're welcome. Right, so what I'm doing is, I've cut the boards up ready, uh, drilled the 25 more holes off in the middle of the joists, and then what I've done is, using the level, marked nice straight lines in line with the grommets, and then what I'm going to do is, I won't turn this on because it's very noisy, I've got like an old multi-tool blade which is blunt, which we want, just cuts through plaster dead easy, but we're not wasting blades. Um, Makes a change for out. you, that does. I know, right? I don't um, like to waste blades. Cutting that out, and then... I'll come back around with a drill and drill down, okay. which will drill through the floorboard and put the cables up. And then we'll cap it and yeah, that's it really. Same as the other room. The bedroom is coming together. It's been difficult to get footage in here because there's not a lot of room and we don't want to be standing on the edges of the carpet. Am I mumbling? Am I mumbling? <laughs> uh, socket done over there, socket done here, socket done here. All the lighting you can see has been done. I've put a joint, which you can see written on the floor here. That's below the, above, sorry, the, the first downlight in the room, like I said, but we will be writing that on our test certificates once it's all done. Maintenance free joint up across the side. I actually use the new ideals, which I'll show off probably in tomorrow's video. Um, last little bit, one socket here. This feeds through to the hallway. We can get the carpet back down, turn the bedroom back down, give it a bit of a hoover. Most of the stuff's come back up and down exactly the same, which is quite nice. And then we move on to the other bedroom, four lights in the dining room three sockets in the bedroom and then what time is it we on it's half three now and uh yeah we both said about seven o'clock we'll be heading home so uh kip's gonna be a late one mate all right don't skank us like yesterday <laughs> that's what we like to do with the capping because we can pull down is push that in push the cable back up with a bit of Piggity piggity. As you can push up from underneath. Almost looks like I know what I'm doing, mate. Yeah, I need these. Ah. These are the uh, new set. There's a special name for them. A lot of people are going to shoot me for not knowing the name of these. They're like, in America, they're, they're used for everything. It's the Klein, I know it's the Klein tools, I can't think of it anyway. It's the, but yeah, we're just giving them a try and the light heavy duty of the seven in ones, of the like five in ones, sorry, the Nipex. Uh, but we're just giving a few things a new try and it's uh, so far so good, they're nice. So the idea with this is like we said on the first video, there's no air in cupboard or there's no area really to take the cables up, I would say safely uh, where we can see them. So if we ever take them upstairs in an air in cupboard, 
we have the Tacom Direct Stigma trunk in so we can sort of see what's going on. Here we don't have that whatsoever, so we've chosen really the best place where the least amount of stuff's going to be hung on the walls. Put it in a bedroom, someone's already going to put a shelf up somewhere, but in a hallway, a lot less likely. We're doing it directly above the double socket, so we've still got our zonings for up and down and across. Uh, when we were chasing, we've actually found the old conduit in the wall here. What would have been the original stuff from the light switches, probably from the bedroom one to the landing. Um, and then if we go low level, what we will do here is chisel behind, maybe take the box out, if not, back and chisel behind. Sometimes you can take them straight through, the cables, but we won't be doing this here. We're gonna try and chisel it back and around, and I'll bring it down, and that will take all these cables upstairs. So we've got two five, two one mils twins, and a three core, which is coming from what is the smoke to the heat in the kitchen and back up to the smoke on the landing. So there's a fair few cables, so I've done it a bit deeper. So if we need to double up on the conduit, we can. Um, it's just going to be a bit of a, a work around here now. But I wanted to get this done today while Adam's messed around in there. So I can pull these cables out of the way, get the flooring back down the landing. These are on. What we've done here, because I did the, uh, the channeling out deep enough, we've actually got two layers of able conduit back to back like so, a bit of all round band. I pulled this out for the time being, so, because it was a bit loose plaster here, I'd rather get that out of the way. Uh, that's all capped up here. We've just got to get our next leg now from there to here. That's our last room, but we have ran out of steam. This took about an hour. <laughs> we talked to the customer, we, we've hit a wall. Uh, we're so close to getting everything we wanted doing, to doing the two circuits, but because we have been faffing, moving stuff constantly backwards and forward, uh, it's wasted a bit of time, but uh, we're nearly there. Also, Kip, our cameraman, has to drive two hours home and it's getting on a bit. It's about half past five now, so it's not really fair on him. So we're gonna call it a day here. And the last video that Kip is gonna be filming is for us is for tomorrow, which will be your next video for you guys. So keep an eye out and we'll try and get as much done tomorrow. Adam's been gonna open the loft and upstairs light in. I will be helping every now and then. I'm probably going to be finishing off what's in here left to do, which is downstairs dining room lights and upstairs sockets in the uh, little girls' room. And then that's it. So, Adam, do you want to shout something? Bye. Bye.